So when I checked my email, I noticed that my package had arrived at my post office and it arrived after the mailman had already delivered the mail. Well, I'm on my way to the post office to see if I can pick it up so I don't have to wait until tomorrow. Yay! They let me get my package. They let me pick it up instead of having to wait until tomorrow morning for the mailman to deliver it. Alright, now you guys just seen that I went to the post office to get a package. So you know that I've gotten something new. But let's wait on that and let's start with my finished, finished objects for the last week. But before I get there, I want to welcome everybody to Yarn Talk. Uh, my it is my Monday video that I put out every week and if you notice I'm not in my craft room I'm actually in the smelly shack I have not been in the smelly shack since I got my craft room well exception of last week I did some videos at work but for the most part I have done all my videos in my craft room since I got my craft room set up upstairs I'm doing it in the smelly shack this afternoon because I've got stuff I gotta do tonight and I was waiting on my package that I went to get so that's why I didn't do it earlier or do it last night so it was up first thing this morning. I hope you forgive me but I've got a lot of really cute projects to show you that I have finished and I don't have any current works in progress because I was waiting on my package to arrive. And one other thing, well I'll tell you about that in a minute, but the first items that I finished this week and if you will excuse the tags on them, I've already had them out for sale in my shop. None of them have sold yet, thankfully, but our Dollar Tree opened up. We had a Dollar Tree built. They started building it back the end of February. They started clearing the lot that they were building it, going to build it on. And last Thursday was its first day open. Now, I like Dollar Tree. A lot of you like Dollar Tree. I don't buy a whole lot of the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree is now my go-to for extra craft supplies. But the big rage right now that you've been seeing on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot are the little fish tanks. Ooh, about dropped him. These are some fish that I crocheted up. The googly eyes and the gravel and the little container all came from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was, the, all the ones I've been seeing, they have the little clasp, but I thought these looked more like a fish bowl. And I didn't follow any real pattern, I just went by the picture. But I used some really thin craft wire for jewelry making. Excuse the googly eye. <laughs> I knew it was there, but I didn't know what fish. But anyway, you just glue your um, invisible string, or like I said, I used a really thin wire. And I found that it's best to follow the directions there and actually put something to hold it. That was a googly eye that I got messed up, putting too much glue on, hot glue. But put googly eyes on both sides. And these are labeled as being for display. They are not toys. They are not intended for toys. But anyway, I've got that blue one. And then I've got this one. Oops. Turn around. Hey, calm down, little fishy. They get real excited. And then I've got a purple one that I did. Now these are not the fish patterns that, um, they're not the gold, whoa, come on, there you go. Sometimes they get stuck. These are not the fish patterns that you're seeing with the actual project. Uh, the actual fish pattern is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's the, uh, 
learn your colors, fish, what I've showed you guys in the past. But anyway, I made those three up with some fish that I already had on hand. I think they are super adorable. I put them out on, well, I got them on Thursday. I put the first ones out like on Friday. And one of my customers that came in to purchase something had a little boy with him and he was like, Dad, Dad, we need a fish. Dad, I want the fish. Dad, I want the fish. I want the fish. He kept begging and asking and asking and asking, but Dad's like, no, come on, we don't need a fish. And I thought I was going to sell one. But anyway, I do plan on taking at least one, maybe two of these to the flea market booth on Wednesday. And I want to make up at least one more, maybe two more to put here in the shop or so that I have another one to take to the flea market because I think it'd be a really good item for the flea market. So that's the first item that I finished. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the other two. I made this Tunisian crochet headband. It uses the honeycomb stitch. Uh, this is adult size and I learned a few things since this. One thing I didn't like about this is how this last row does not match the first row. I know how to fix this now. So the next the next one that I am working on, I am going to make it where this last row matches the rest of the stitch. I know how to do that now. And like I said, this is an adult size. It's a little warm for a headband today. But and I got a ponytail. Oh my. Let's let's not even do that. Let's pretend we didn't do that. I got a ponytail and it's like up high, so it won't go on my head. Headband or ear warmer. And it is reversible. This is the other side. Some people like this side, some people like the other side. Oops, there's my for sale tag. Which side do you like? This is actually the front side, and this is the back side. But I, I do plan on making a few more of these, and part of the reason for the package has to go with this, but I will tell you when I open the package because it will make more sense. And the other project that I finished is I had this bright idea to do a beaded Tunisian pattern. And my I don't know what my intentions were. I just made it. I thought it was going to be cool. It is actually cool. This is what I came up with. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted Sunday evening about this much of it. And I was like, anybody want to guess what it's going to be? Well, I finished it up this morning. I'm actually filming this Monday afternoon. I finished it up this morning waiting for the mailman just hoping that he had my package which I was going to guess he probably didn't because of the time he showed up about the time that the package arrived at my post office. That told me that it was probably really going to be Tuesday. So I was like well I'll just work on this. I haven't sewed my ends on because I or sewed my ends in because I just finished it. But this is that Tunisian waffles stitch where if you remember the tutorial that I did a couple, about a week ago, going into the back hump of your return chain is how you get this. It does not really curl a whole lot. Mine got a little tight and a little wonky because of the beads, but the beads worked out perfectly. I had a comment on my Ravelry. I think it was on Ravelry. Pretty sure it was on Ravelry. To the Ravelry or one of the two groups that I posted it to, which is No Catchy Name and Random Randy's Random Family. Those are Facebook groups for No Catchy Name and Random Randy's YouTube channels. But anyway, I posted this and somebody commented that it would make a really cute over-the-shoulder bag for a kid or a young adult or an adult for that matter. I was like, well, that's brilliant. I hadn't even, I was thinking maybe, I didn't know, a bunting or something, but I do like the idea of the bag. I think I will make, oh, this is the back of it. Looks really neat on the back too. Kind of looks the same front and back, except this is more more wafflier than that. But I think I'll make another one and sew them together, and actually maybe put some tassels on the bottom or figure something out and act, and make a bag. Which that was a cute idea. Thank you to the person that commented that. I like that idea. Be watching for a continuation of this project. Now, that is all I have. Like, like I said, I do not have any works in progress because I was actually trying to kill time waiting on my new, uh, well, the package that I got today, which it does not count in this, and my other acquired item does not count either because I didn't actually buy it. 
But Random Randy is doing a no buy August or something like that where she's not buying any new yarn or anything like that for the month of August. She's trying to go through her stash and use it up. And when she announced that, I had just made this order that the package that you've seen that I went to get. I just made the order. And I was like, well, I just made an order. Does this count? And it was on the 30th of July. And she says, no, it doesn't count. Anything that is purchased in August is what's going to count. So I was safe on this. Whew. Thank goodness, because I really need these. So let's open it. I already know what's inside. And I'm super excited. Well, we're just going to cut the top. So I ordered this from Joann's. Joann's had, what was it, $4.99 shipping? And then like 30% off, I can't remember what it was. It was something like that. Maybe the invoice will tell me. Standard ground shipping. And this doesn't tell me anything. Well, la -da. And neither does that. It was like $4.99 shipping, and then there was like 30% off your entire purchase and that was a way cheaper price than us driving an hour to the Joann's that is an hour away that's the closest yarn shop that we have they're both an hour away got Joann's Michaels and Hobby Lobby and they're all an hour away that was cheaper paying the shipping and waiting almost a week for the item the waiting part was the hard part but that was cheaper than buying gas and going over there and spending the extra money we didn't need but I got a size I double-ended Tunisian crochet hook and I also got a size H double-ended Tunisian crochet hook the one that I currently have is a J and that's what I've been making all my uh, Tunisian bags with and that's what I made this with but I found a pattern that stated to use an I. So that's why I got H and I because I have J. Most Tunisian projects recommend using a hook two sizes larger than the yarn recommends. And I've got some smaller yarn like baby type yarn which probably would recommend a G. So either an H or an I would be good for that. And then just your regular worsted weight uh, Red Heart acrylic yarn recommends an H now I believe. I remember back when they said a G, but they remember an H now. So either an I or a J would be good for using with a regular worsted weight yarn in most cases. I'm not gonna say every time, but in most cases that would be the way it would work. That makes the stitches look better. They don't, in my experience, they look better. They don't look all bunched up. It's not super tight tension. I'm excited to get these. I am ready to get started using my eye hook because hopefully I have enough yarn left over after making this. I'm going to make boot cuffs that will accompany the headband or just make boot cuffs with the same yarn scheme because I'm thinking of making sets with the headband or ear warmers and boot cuffs, maybe fingerless gloves, football season's coming up and I'm thinking you know, school colors, sitting in the football stadium, it's going to get cold. So thinking of ways that might help my stuff sell. And the last item that I have, like I said, I did not buy this item. We actually, last night after we closed the castle, which was Sunday evening, we were walking around outside and this bag was laying in the alley. Letters were scattered everywhere. But these are foam letters, and they have an adhesive back on them. Super excited. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I was like, I can't just leave them in the alley. I picked up the extra letters. I noticed this morning that I missed one, one letter I missed. That's not bad for picking them up in the dark, but I was just excited. I'm sure I'll figure something to use them for with my crafting, and now that I have glue sticks for my hot glue gun, even if the sticky on the letters won't stick, I'll just glue them down. That's all I have for you guys today. Oh, nice. Joanne sent me some coupons.
When did it expire? Oh, I can't read it here. Oh, it's offers good through September 15th. So I got a little over about a month and a half. Yay, thank you, Joanne. But that's all I have for you guys today. Well, thank you for watching. This is Vlogmas. No, not Vlogmas. That's Christmas. Vlogist. And this will be day four, I believe, because I did one, two, and three. So this will be day four for Vlogist. Day four. I'm hoping to have a couple more videos besides my Thursday video this week. So keep watching for those, and I will see you guys in the next video.